So I've actually changed airbrushes for a little while. We're going to come in with a gold grey, slightly lighter than I'd normally use because we're over black, which is going to darken the upper paint down. So the first thing to do is to do our take our float, lovely, and all we're going to do. We're going to pick out these bits by hand shortly. So all we're going to do is just give a nice light coat over the top. Like so. Just to give that worn effect. Now I don't know how well the camera will pick that up. But that's already started to look a bit used and abused which they always were so same again just a small light coat almost a dusting over our part we don't want a solid color and then we have our cockpit to go at and again we're going to start at the front and just really dust it on. So that it goes on all the way over. But we don't, although we want our main colour on there, we don't want a solid block of colour. That's not what we're after. We're after a bit of a, a mixture of colour to give it some detail and warm effect. Now that's that bit. What else have we got to go grey apart from my hair? That's about it for now. So We'll do, we'll put that to one side for a second. And we have got that little bit there to do. Just put that over. Just to make sure. And we'll get rid of this, what we've got in our airbrush. In an airbrush. Get rid of that. Put it in the holder for a sec. Put the lid on. Always put your lid on alkali paints. They will spill and go anywhere otherwise. Right, so blow the paint out of the airbrush, some ordinary cellulose thinners, and just mix the airbrush around, mix the airbrush around, mix, tip the paint around, tip that one out. then. Blow the airbrush out. You probably can't even see this, but all right. Get your airbrush again. Mix it all round, getting all the paint out of the colour cup everywhere, and then that lot blow it into your pot. Doesn't take too long. And that cleans out the inside of your airbrush and that's ready now after a quick color change and we go into what we're going to do first I think we'll go straight on to the white that's no good that's white micro primer or filler ah there it is Okay, now there's quite a fair amount to do in white on this, so, so we'll go white, just a 
small amount in the colour cup, that could even be too much. Just tidy it up, check your flow, yep, super job. Now, anything in these white we're going to paint. So, just put a dusting on, so you can see. And all we're doing is putting a very light coat of white on. I want too much white on it. As I said, we're just that is perfect, lovely. Another piece. Just paint it up. So we're just putting a very light coat on. We want these to look abused because they were. Right. One of our undercarriage parts. Going on. No, you don't want too heavy. It looks like I'm being fiddly, but I'm not really. I've got some doors to paint. Just like that. They're all done. One more leg. You're using the, as I say, you're using the primer as part of the weathering technique. Sounds a bit posh, but it isn't. Right, there's loads of white to do here. Just dust the first coat on, and you can layer it a little bit heavier. So we want on that. I want those doors to be a, di a bit dirty and grimy. And more doors, more door. I believe that's Lord of the Rings. Set. Right. Then we come to bigger parts like our piece here. So we want to go from here. And just lay it in again, not too heavy, just one enough, and then we turn it around, and this just gently builds the colour up. You blow it into a tube, so in reality, it's gone straight through, like so. That's all it needs. So that's fine. And the same with this one. Just build it up on that piece. And then just blow it right the way along from the back of the tube. The intake trunk. Of, like so. Just make sure you've got everything that you need to get. And that looks lovely. Alright, leave that to dry. What else we got? Oh, we got the little bits of the wheels. Be very careful. And we hand paint the actual tyres on at a later date. So we just turn it around. So 
they go in. You're always creating with the black primer, you're always creating a shadow effect. So you're always looking at, as I said many, many times, starting that weathering process, which seems to be a big thing in our hobby nowadays. Getting that on the go. Right, so that's all the white done for now, I believe. Um, what I'm going to do now is clean up the airbrush. Right. Okay, so we're off again. And first thing we're going to do is just get the seats painted in quickly. So we use a bit of khaki green for that. Check the flow, lovely. So we've got our seats, seat cushions here. We'll pick out the uh, seat belts or harnesses shortly. So all we're doing is give them a light coat. Just give them a little bit of a clean, so that'll do. That'll be good. Right. Clean that up. And then we'll be back to do some other bits. Right, so we're in again. And we're going to come in this time to the the fans and the parts at the rear on the verticals on the horizontal stabilizers this time we're going to actually use some alclad metal which is steel in this case just to get a, a color on Again, I've gone a bit over the top with the paint. Just clean that up. So all we're doing, checking the flow, and we're going to just do a light mist coat over the whole of the part, just to get that metal look. Making sure we've got all the fan blades looking good. How well that'll pick up on camera, I'm not sure, but hopefully you'll be able to see that that angle. And we've got our two parts: the rear of the fuselage, just giving them quick coat that looks just nice right they're ready to go in so that's is that all our metal gear for now yep I believe so so that can clean up and then we'll come back and do some other bits and pieces like detailing the fuselage. Right, now it's <clears throat> excuse me. Time to come in, we're gonna liven up this detail a little using some matte black. Um little tip with this it, on acrylic is add a slight drop of um, airbrush cleaner, not the alclad stuff because that's a bit too strong for this job. But what we want it to do, hopefully, you can see this. I'll move it up there. That's it. 
and all we're doing is just drawing the paint along and as I said we, all we're going to do is just pick out the small bits that are around it so that we can get them on and they can be dry ready for a dry brush shortly as you can see with the airbrush cleaner the paint actually draws itself around the detailing so I'll drag it across and it will also allow you to get more accurate lines like so and we'll just do that last front bit of combing just like so and that can be left to dry get that detailed up, lovely, that can come in for a dry brush shortly we've got a few small parts on the actual cockpit we'll pick out just some dials and stuff just to make it a little bit more interesting handle other control stick just paint it up just like that and some of the smaller parts at the rear so it's just to to add a little bit of interest in what would be quite a a bland cockpit right so that's that and while we've got this out let's clean this brush up excuse me while I stand up we're going to use it on micro set and sol put that lid away just for a little while and we'll get our instrument panel parts on I've got them all in um, all cut out ready so all we're going to do we're going to just dip them in some warm water that's over there which has got a little bit of micro set and sol in it we're going to use the set with quite a small brush clean that up make sure that's nice and clean and ready and we're going to get the areas ready I'm just going to check my references just for this part and it's ready yet? No. Okay, he's ready. So these are all dry and all ready to go. Just while we're waiting for those decals to settle. Obviously, this is the first time I built this kit. I know very little about it. So I'm just going to see what the fit is like. Which is quite nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put the halves together on her. I thought that was a bit weird. And then we're going to, all we're going to do is just dry fit to see how snug everything is and see what it's like with the two oops, fuselage, fuselage halves come together 
and how easy it's going to be whether we're going to need a lot of filler and what have you just hold it together for a second and the rear of the fuselage so there we have it and to be truthful that's a better fit than I thought that was going to be or I should realise by now that the new Alclad stuff is very good and hopefully and you can hopefully see that there I don't know why that's doing that hang on you can probably see that there that the fit is absolutely lovely I think I see over there where is it there that was very nice bit of a seam to sort out but that won't take much so I'm quite happy with that right now are these ready? yep okay so we'll put this one on first which is the major one in the centre plenty is set go on in and we'll just do that one because that's the most available So we take that off and place it over where it's got to be. And we're just checking everything we need to check just to make sure. And we've got our larger instrument part. I'm going to get it off the sheet like so. In the past, these decals have been bigger than the holes. So, hopefully, now Mr. Airfix has sorted the problem and it should go in just nicely. Which I'm pleased to say it does. Now, quick tip again if you get a decal which gets stuck or won't move properly just use a cocktail stick and she should just slide in like so so she's in there nicely then we have a piece for up the top here and that goes to the bottom as well so we take that off nicely and then lay that into place these are very generic but they do the job for the scale we're doing so that's that one on not quite got our cocktail stick again and just maneuver it being very gentle not to rip it not the easiest thing to get straight a bit set and that'll go down nicely okay so on to this one and we get this other side down like so that's nice That's it. Now, to get the process going, we'll immediately put some set on here. What that'll do, that'll help it mould all the decals, mould into where they have to go, and settle down nicely. Just like that. So that's your instrument panel done. That should pick that up with a bit of luck. There you go, just there. So that's that bit. Now we've got 
an instrument panel. On the rear. So we've got now the one that goes right across. Which is number two. Pick that up. Not the easiest thing to do. And that can lay on. Just shuffle it across. Okay. Oops, I put set on there, but never mind. I've got a larger piece here. Thing goes on squared up like so, and then we come to our side plates. So, first one that rear piece, which is 9B, take you out a little bit. do is turn that around like so get our stick and gently get it into the place we want lovely job okay our side wall this side let's move that out of the way on this side again plenty of sole on that and our fuse board I was asking me to put that somewhere I thought different okay alright so that goes on the cockpit down the bottom not a problem so we lay that in stick it and get it into position, push it around so that's nice. And we have this side to go across, and it's this one. Try to lift up. into position as well like so turn that around I'm looking at this side bit of an odd one but hey ho okay right, we'll slide that into position as well This has got some steps in it. It looks a little large. And we can go do something I don't normally do. I'm just looking. So we'll take that off. So that deck was a little large. We're going to get our razor blade and just trim it down a slip. Put that through and pick her up again. There we go. That's better. To the front, and then make sure it's down, which it is nicely. 
and give it a nice coat of sole. I like to put plenty on so that it starts it going, the process going down. Just like that. We've got one more piece to do. And that goes there. And place that just like so. And then put some sole down on that. Just pushing that out a little bit so that is correct. Just like that. Happy. Right. Now, while that's drying, and that one's going in. Oops, that's moved. So, as I said, warts and all. So, whatever happens, you see it. There you go. So, that's that bit done. Now, what we need to do. We'll get rid of this paper. I'll stick away paper for rubbish one side lids back on as I like to do put that to one side now favourite part normally which is dry brushing just a little bit and all we're going to do Get our paint and just knock it off. Once we've got it on there, rub it off on a cloth so there's nothing there. And with metallics, believe me, they're there. So do it again. Knock the paint off. Hopefully that's enough. And then we're going to dry brush around it. Bring in the detail up. Not painting it, just dry brushing it. Just making it a little bit scuffy in places where we want it. And just there, just there, there, and there. Give it a little bit of scuffing all round it. So that. Right, the parts we just painted. We'll dry brush those as well. Looking nice. And again, over the top, our seats. Nice dry brush on the top and the sides. Just to bring any detail out that we've got on there. Oops, I hope you saw that. If not. Got another side. Okay. Next part. We need to have our linen yellow. Right. Just gonna put that, clean that up. Get that out of the way. That away, uh, yellow. Right, there were yellow belts in these, so we'll use some alclad yellow. This is a little bit of a this is training yellow, which is close to the linen yellow that was used on the seat belts. And all we're going to do is gently. Paint the belts in. On the top. We don't want to go the full thickness because these belts are thick. The way that they're laid on here. So all we're doing, quite literally, is pulling the paint down to get a nice even area 
parts of the belt which are to one side and go across. That's those two. And we're just going to pull that through again. It's nice because they put the Airfix have thought about this and the belts are actually different on each seat which is quite a nice touch and again from the top drawing it out drawing it down right to the bottom just like that and then we've got I'm trying to see here lap belts and there's a belt there just like so Right, that's those bits. Now I go back to my get rid of the yellow. Ta da I point this is a zero zero ten or ten zero. I got our paint for little bits of metal work that I tend to do. And just a little bit just to finish off the belts it's not a lot excuse me if I'm not talking too much because I'm holding my breath which is a habit I've had from when I'm painting a lot lump on there We've got one part there, one there, one there, I've got a bit there, and a bit there, and a bit there. I was just having a quick look. A bit more. That one. Right, I'm very happy with those belts and the seat. So they are now ready to go. We can now clean a brush up, do a little bit. Because we've painted this and we don't want liquid glue to go everywhere, what we're going to do is use a little bit of super glue. Again, this is my old glue that I've had for a while, that's quite thick and it allows you to move parts around fairly well so we've got the two seats sorted we're going to get our cocktail stick yet again and we're just going to add some super glue along the bottom Like so, we'll get our seat pad, slide it in from underneath, push it in, as it should go, get it down nicely. seat it's one of them something I have got to do and I've forgotten we'll do that in a second so a bit more glue all around the seat bottom of the seat pad which will never be seen slide it up from the in from the bottom back of the cocktail stick push it down and in there you go looking good 
Okay, right. <clears throat> One thing I did forget, which I'm going to make amends of now, I do, is our ejector handles. Now, we've already painted them black, so all we've got to do now bit of yellow and just touching around and then we other side just like so And again, I like the way that's come up nicely. Very difficult at this scale I'm trying to do all this, but this worked well. Right, so that's that bit done clear that up put that away and then next up because we've got the instrument panel ready although it's still drying So just clean the white tack off it. I'm doing this a little bit quick, so just be a little brush gun. There it is. Pick this one up. Back on. Like so. Now all we're going to do is get some small piece of super glue as such up to that corner and that corner. And that's all we need to do. And then we're going to sit it in to where it's got to go, just like that. So now that's safely in there, and that will go down. And then we've got the two seats. So we're going to do is just put some super glue along the bottom. Drop them in, almost like that, just like that, that's the first one in, nearly, decided to mess me about, okay, right, just notice we've got a decal that's moved on the rear, So we'll just put that back up. It's been a little bit of a humbug. I bet you can't see that. We'll get our extra thin. Oop, there. Run it down the gap. You can see what extra thin does to the paint. and across that bit there. And all we're going to do is put that into place. Now, look. And let that set. Okay. So now we can go underneath and just add a little bit more glue to hold it 
push it in there's our cockpit in place that's all looking nice very happy with that so far right okay while that's gluing we're going to get our two stabilizing parts horizontal stabilizers get those ready take these off the sprues as it's all super good right check our angle of attack and if it's upside down gee, I've got to get this right so that way it's that one that way like that and they've got to be facing downwards so it's this one no, oh, here's the other one. That's right. Having a look to see the fit. That's nice. And all we're going to do is touch the glue around it. Making sure there's plenty of glue on there. Because that's going to need to be pushed into there later. Is that correct? So they aim down. Yeah. So that's that part in. This part as well. Putting her in. Square her up. Whoop there. It's better fit this side. And all we're gonna do is put some glue again. Push it down that's solid now all we're going to do now is just check to make sure that's what we can do no nope. we have the sides of the engine to go in there now I've got to work out which one goes where now and just check for myself the fit does that fit nicely enough nope this is the wrong one could be better that doesn't look right to me does that hook up it hooks down so it was the other part that's fine okay so that fits in there like so Some more glue on that in a minute. It's not a brilliant fit, Airfix. But hey ho, that's in. It was. Rather a tricky little bit, this. That's better. Right, that's all in. Like so, we'll put glue there, we'll put the glue on the edge there and that will run down. Again this side, put some glue in the holes, hold it. and we're all in place 
so that's all looking good it's not very I'm gonna to have to put a clamp on that just to hold on to it for a little while and to keep it in one from the top one from the top and just get it to hold into place somehow this is quite I might have to do it with a peg actually to make it a little bit more solid there you go that's the way right that's on there lovely now so that will hold in that's that side in and then we'll put this side in so that should go through there in and clip in there somewhere like that just checking on this a little bit tight that's the wrong side, it must be. Take that off there, you can see how quick the glue is setting. Take that off there gently. And I'm a bit surprised at the way that, that fits there properly. Okay, right, my boo boo got a bit carried away. Fits a heck of a lot better. All round, so happier with that. And we just need to clamp that in, like so. So we'll clamp her down yet again. With that bit there, we'll have another peg to put on here, hold that bit in nicely, I think, yep that's in there lovely, okay, so future reference We know that they are sided or handed. Okay, so we can put our glue into there and there and a bit more there. Some on the external part. Hold that in with a peg. Just like that. And then we've got this bit at the back. Put that through. A bit more. And that should just slide in like that. And across. We're there. Right. So what I'll do. I'll leave that overnight now and come back to that tomorrow and we'll get the rest of it together and we'll see how we go from there.